These split type air conditioners and heat pumps are becoming a lot more popular these days. This video is not about them, but rather a modification you can make to the remote control to make your life a little bit better and easier. Let's swing the camera around and take a look at that. This is the remote for that AC and uh, split type uh, heat pumps. And you can see the problem right here is pretty obvious. There's this dark streak that runs up the wall. And that's because when you go to grab this, your fingers and thumb naturally drag across the wall. You can see over on the other side. And it's just always dirty around there. We have another type of Mitsubishi where there's some little fingers on here. And when you go to grab it, your hands hit it and cause you to fumble the remote. And we drop them pretty often. But what we found is we found a cheap DIY fix you can make to these control holders. And yeah, it uh, removes the fingerprints and uh, lowers the chance you're going to fumble the remote onto the floor. So let's go take a look at that. These are the two types of remotes we have around this house. This is a Mitsubishi and this is a Daikin like you saw earlier. The Daikin uh, works pretty well in that when you pull it out, it doesn't grab the remote. However, it does have the thing that it's sitting flush against the wall. and it just, uh, the finger marks are bad. You can see where the fingers touch here, and of course, then they drag along the wall behind it. Um, yeah, these both need cleaning. Uh, this is the worst one. This is the Mitsubishi. And these little fingers right here, when you lift it out, one has a tendency of trying to pull it out of the holder before it's all the way clear. And it causes it to jerk it out of your hands. Uh, so yeah, one usually grabs it down here below the fingers and starts moving it. Your fingers hit this thing and you got to jump over it and yeah, it's not a, it's not a good system. So the best thing is obviously to grab it up here and pull it out. However, then the finger marks are just up here. Yeah. So this one is, is a mess. And in fact, we redesigned the whole thing and, and made new ones. But the solution to the finger marks and to make it easier to grab on both of these is we just took a plastic block. Now you could, you could use wood or metal or anything else. Just something that's about an inch thick and that's two and a half centimeters. And we just stuck it behind each of these before we mounted them back on the wall. And that way when you go to grab it, your fingers do not do not uh, touch the wall. You see that you get a lot of clearance between say your thumb and whatever and you can lift it out of there. It also in the case of this one with these fingers makes it easier to grab and we found you don't drop it as often. Okay so that's the simple trick is just to move the holder whichever style you have away from the wall and it will eliminate the fingerprints and it makes pulling the remote out of the out of the holder a lot easier. Here you can see we have the spacer in place which gives us plenty of room. I mean no matter how you grab this you can wrap your fingers most of the way around here and you're not going to come anywhere near that wall. Uh, also with the type of the fingers up here you can grab this from the top and you're still away from the wall. You can lift it out and you won't be dropping it on the ground nearly as often. So those are the uh, two improvements that this one spacer gives us. Okay, simple fix for a uh, kind of an annoying problem. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY projects.